Generally speaking, high energy people tend to get more done in their lives. But if there's something I learned the last decade coaching and helping people is that everyone can do more in less time. Today I share with you five simple ways to do more in less time. Let's go. Hi my friends, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. And if you're new here, this channel is all about personal growth so you can achieve your dreams and live an awesome life. So if you're interested in these kinds of videos, consider subscribing, hit the red button below and hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Now, I have a question for you. Are you one of those people who start projects and leave them without finishing them? If yes, this video is for you. Many of us are eager to start projects and put them into motion. A new craft, a business idea or home improvements. We love the notion of starting things, but most of us fail to end the project. Not because we are not willing enough, but because we are overwhelmed by ideas, people and circumstances around us. There can be plenty of reasons why you lost your initial enthusiasm about the project. Be it failure to plan, running out of cash, stumbling on a roadblock, etc. Like I said before, many of us fail to end the project. But what if we deal with the problem before it even originates? Here are five simple ways to do more in less time. Focus on one thing at a time. Before you step into anything, Look into all the unfinished projects and prioritize the ones that are important plus urgent. Which projects can cause you real damage? Which are the ones that are almost done? And what about the never-ending proposals that you are putting away from quite some time? Mostly, things go south when you fail to assign tasks to idle resources. But thanks to technology, with effective online task management tools, you can easily assign tasks to your idle resources. The trick is to figure out what are your most urgent tasks and delegate them for faster processing. In my book, Self-Improvement Training, you can get more information and proven strategies about task management and much more. If you're interested in strategies to be more productive and to live a fulfilled life, I recommend you get this book. The link is in the description below. Plan things in detail. To get things done faster, make sure you devise an action plan. Set up categories for every project and list down necessary steps to achieve them. Without putting down the projects on paper, your task will be stumbling in your mind. Keep the writing simple. No need to create diaries or blackboards to list down long deadlines right from the start. For the first instant, got down your ideas on plain paper. Plan those ideas in detail. No need to act lazy when planning down things in detail. In this, you can assign starting date and end date. For each task, make sure you list down all the necessary details in one place. Eat your frog first. Eat a live frog first thing in the morning and nothing worse will happen to you the rest of the day. For many, this might seem a simple quote, but in reality, this is a sound advice. For any project, there are tasks that are more important than others. 
the frog is the biggest, ugliest, and hardest task on your plate. This is the one that puts the most pressure on you. Prioritizing is one thing you need to do. If you don't prioritize, you won't do much. Figure out what's urgent plus important and do that first. Take a break. Have you ever gotten stumped by a problem, decided to take a break, and then later found that the answer magically came to you in a burst of inspiration? If so, you know the power of strategic breaks to refresh your brain and help you see a situation in a new way. A break is a brief cessation of work, physical exertion or activity. You decide to give it a rest with the intention of getting back to your task within a reasonable amount of time. Recent research shows that subconscious thought often is better at solving our problems than our conscious. Give your brain a breather and regular breaks and it has greater potential to churn away in the background and discover workable solution. Commitment is the key. It sounds very simple, but you need to stay committed to your tasks. Once you start something, you need to make sure you end it well too. We all know what it feels like to start a project all hyped up and full of energy, only to have our enthusiasm fade away once we are in the thick of things. It is worth reminding yourself that commitment is the key ingredient of your success. You need to be very clear about your project deadlines and commit to them with all your heart and brain. Keep reminders so that you stay on track. To wander off is easy. To do the actual work and get things done is hard. Persevere and it won't be too long before you are celebrating project success. I hope you can benefit from these tips. Please let me know what you think of these tips in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And please subscribe to my channel. Join this amazing community. Take care.